Alright guys, I want to apologize up front. This is going to be a long video. Uh, I'm actually breaking it down in another segment too. But uh, this is cleaning and prepping the 9 inch housing uh, that I had bought that's already been shortened. So uh, I'm just getting it prepped. All the surface rust knocked off. Um, cleaning up all the wild slag and stuff that was left on it from whoever built it. Uh, and then uh, clearancing that uh, back brace to actually fit the housing. Alright, I just wanted to stop and show you guys this before I uh, welded it shut, but on these uh, 9 inches, if you get a factory housing, there's this hole here, and it's for the breather, um, for a factory setup, but as you can see, it's gone, so it's threaded. You can put a uh, pipe fitting in here and just plug it. What I usually do or what I've done the other time I've done this is just weld it. Because it's never going to be accessible anymore. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and weld it. Just wanted to point that out so you guys were aware. It would be pretty hard to do, but uh, say something like this is broken off and you were, uh, you know, just kind of throwing it together, you didn't really notice, uh, it was packed full of mud, you could have just walled it over and it could have broke loose and leaked out, and it'd be a nightmare to fix after you pack racing, so. All right, here I'm just uh, plugging up that hole for the old breather. I'll be adding a new one whenever I get the the rest of it built. I still have to uh, order a drain plug and then a fill port. So I'll probably get a breather at the same time. I, it's not necessary for me to uh, loosely fab it up, so. All right, if you guys notice the change in scenery, uh, this is where I work um, at a truck shop, I work on semis and stuff. I transported it here um, a lot because I was tired of working in the small area that I had, but also because uh, I had to make the jig for the upper mounts and we have a plasma cutter at the shop that I'm free to use on my days off. So, uh, transported it all there, took my grinding supplies and stuff and cleaned up the axle housing. Right now I'm grinding off the old spring bucket mounts that I uh, had previously cut off but not ground down. Um, once again, I apologize for the video being so long but I couldn't shorten it really anymore and I didn't really want to break it up into two segments because it probably wouldn't be that interesting to watch so uh yeah a lot of it's just grinding i didn't show much of building the the uh bracket for the upper mount i did film it it just it wasn't very pretty i didn't build it to keep it i just built it to throw this together because most generally, I'll probably never build another one of these 9 inch housings for a G body. And uh, this is like, basically if I built that bracket for, for this application, I would need to build the specs or build everything to these specs. And I'm not quite sure if this axle housing is built to a standard size, which is fine, it'll work. Uh, with axles in it, it runs the same uh, flange width as a, a G-body stock one is, so. 
Anyways, uh, I built that bracket and then I ground the top mounts off after I plasma cut most of it off, ground all that stuff off. I pressed the uh, bushings into the new upper mount things that I had and I welded the upper mount rings onto the bases too. Um, made that mount, bolted it together, and then tacked it into place. Uh, Yeah, this is me pressing the bushings in right now, so. Um, the G bodies have a, have like a two piece, they call it a sleeved bushing. So you take the bushings out of the sleeve, press the sleeve in, and then press the bushings in. Which, I did that, put the bushings in, mounted it up on the uh, bracket that I had made tacked it, fully welded it on the outside, and then uh, then pounded the bushings out because they're hot. And then uh, welded fully on the inside. I don't have very many pictures of the uh, weld process because my camera died and then shortly after my phone died, which is great. Um, I had also taken video of the uh, rear axle before I had painted it to show what the welds looked like and stuff and then I accidentally deleted it and, and then the other one that I had I didn't like the audio on it and the camera was shaky so I also deleted that. upper mount stacked into place. to wear your safety equipment, kids. Now after I get done welding these, uh, you'll see me take the bolts out and then uh, take the mount out to weld the inside because you can't access it.
pretty soon I think I'm going to be starting to set up for the jig that uh, I had improvised. Yep. Uh, this is just 2x6x8 by by inch. Plenty strong enough uh, to do what I needed it to do. Smoke 2x4s. Then you just set the housing up on it and then pre-stress it the opposite way. Right now the back brace is just tacked in. And uh, these are just three and a quarter U-bolts uh, with uh, 11 and a half inch legs on them. They barely, it just barely worked. Uh, and then I just had a piece of quarter inch plate that I just made some kind of makeshift uh, bottom plates for to cinch them down. It bent them but it worked so. And shortly here my camera dies. Which sucks, I ain't even getting a back brace and welding on here, which is mainly what I wanted to show, but don't have good luck. <laughs> Hello YouTubers, uh, this is the axle completed, I threw a coat of paint on it, um, I guess I shouldn't say completed, I still haven't done the uh, lower uh, mounts, but I kind of ran out of time, my camera obviously ran out of battery, uh, didn't go as, as planned, so I just wanted to walk you guys through uh, what I was going to walk you guys through before my camera died. Uh, the last you'll see of me walling it will be while I'm trying to make the jig up. Uh, I just wanted to walk you guys through that so it's not just uh, leaving you guys high and dry. What I did was using uh, a couple U-bolts. You just go ahead and put a U-bolt on either end and take like a 2 by 6 is what I use. You can see it on top of my Suburban there. Uh, take a 2x6, lay it um, the 6 inch side straight up and down so it has more uh, strength. Then you take those U-bolts, strand it over it, and then you just tie it down. And then uh, you put, I put 2x4 pieces of oak in here. Don't put it on the flange or it'll warp your it can warp your flange. It, it probably won't but put them out here beside your uh, beside your, your diff flange and then tie it down. I uh, run it until it's uh, finger tight with a ratchet and then go an eighth to a quarter on either end worth of uh, pulling. So you just tighten it down and then you measure like you can see I was measuring from this down down to the uh, piece of tubing. So I go with an eight, eighth of an inch. Um, um, like I said I went with an eighth of an inch and then when I uh, welded it I welded it in segments, welded it from here to here, six inches or so, and then moved over here, over to here, here, and then just weld six inch segments. Don't let it get boiling hot. And then, then you're golden. <laughs> I got these top mounts welded on too. I wish I would've got, uh, I had different video before but I, I just deleted it it turned out like shit uh, I could have showed off my welds a little bit better by using the video but um 
I just didn't like it. I had my uh, waterproof case on my GoPro and the sound was just horrible. So drove me insane. I just ended up deleting it. So I will be doing a, well, as you guys can tell, it's, it's going to be a voiceover video. And then uh, this part is actually being shot with the video. So I appreciate the views, guys. Uh, like, comment, share, subscribe. Next video is probably going to be putting the engine together rather than the uh, finishing the rear end. And then thereafter that, I'll do the rear end. Um, I got my push rods in. And then uh, I've got a windage tray and a uh, pickup tube so I can finish. Oh, here it is. So I can finish my uh, long block. Uh, no, that's about it. Um, this thing will be good, good to go soon. Uh, hopefully, be stabbing the motor in soon. I still haven't ground down that weld on the roof, but uh, I also want to thank you guys if you're watching all the way through. This is going to be one of the longer videos, just because there's a lot to put in it, and I don't want to make it pretty much unwatchable so I'm trying to conserve time as much as possible uh, but yeah I appreciate the views likes shares comments uh, and I'm up to 40 subscribers as of right now so I'd like to hit 100 soon it might happen I appreciate it have a good day